Lord is alive! That's what you guys are supposed to say. Are you ready for some story time? Excellent. All right. It's fantastic to be with you here today. And I'm going to share with you on the future. I've been understanding what's happened the last couple of years. Let's try to understand where this is going. I'll start by saying there's a smart man called Elon Musk who has raised the alarm. And he said that AI will either be the worst thing or the best thing for humanity. He said that as we explore AI, humanity is summoning the demon. Ooh. Now AI is an interesting topic. And Elon Musk is a very smart man. If you look at just what he's achieved, there's no doubt that he's an extremely intelligent individual. What you really think about is that your perspective on AI is that you're either going to be a glass half full person or you're going to be a glass half empty person. Right? What you do know about people is that we hate change. And this game is all about change. Unfortunately, when we think about change, we have to look at history. And throughout history, people have bristled against change, just as smart and just as intelligent as Elon Musk. Can you believe that when writing was invented, even Socrates was hating on writing? Right? He believed that writing at the time would take away from human memory. He said it would take the human's ability to learn away. And since the time of Socrates, this hasn't changed much. Significant advances in technology have continued to make us huge skeptics. For decades, people have been scared of automation, that robots are going to come and take our jobs. And as a result, even the poor printing press has faced criticism. The printing press. Right? Everyone claimed the printing press would be the downfall of humanity. Now we all know that the humble printing press has changed the world, and it changed the world forever. The reality of the innovation at that time is that you had crude town si uh, signs, you had town criers, and the printing press single-handedly allowed organizations to start transferring their messages across the globe. Right here in South Africa, the last 30 years of democracy have meant that the printing press has been the cornerstone of our vibrant society. We mark 30 years of democracy today, and that's because we've been able to hold leaders accountable, we've been able to drive economy, and we've been able to build advertising that creates great companies from the single printing press. Now, print has also gifted us some really interesting ads. Some of you will remember all of these. So if we do a little bit of a walk down memory lane, if you recognize an ad, give it a little chuckle. Do you remember Toyota's big sound campaign? Right? And what about Lego's Paris Go Bad? Right? It taught us that simplicity was actually very compelling. And who can forget this masterpiece? Big Infinity Act. Right? And then one you'll all resonate with. Every time you make a bad ad, a unicorn dies. <laughs> Legendary ad from the Luris. And some of you might even agree, the last couple of months, there's been a lot of unicorn deaths in marketing. <laughs> so here's a little bit of trivia. The Archbishop of Canterbury famously was quoted as saying that what's going to happen with TV is going to make us all addicts. The Archbishop, he said, this is going to be the worst thing for humanity. Now, if he had seen some of our TV adverts, he would have known that TV was not only entertaining, it transformed our society. The man of the cloth would have changed his mind if he knew what advertising would do. So let's give all the creatives behind these ads a bell. Hello? Hello, Geneke. Fridge. Met ice, yeah. Met ice. Fridge. Tandy, there's no Timora in the fridge. It's not inside, it's on top. It's not inside, it's on top. Timora. Top of the coffee creamers. I am McIntyre from Glasgow. What kind of a Mac are you? I'm a Macatini. Macatini? Ah, from Edinburgh, I suppose. <laughs> no, from Maritzburg. <laughs> Maritzburg? Even if you've a heart of stone, Sun City will rock you like you've never been rocked before. Music. 
music, sports, games, pictures, and just about everything else comes alive on your phone. Vodafone Live, only from Vodacom. And sauce for only 30 bucks a chicken in the kitchen. 30 bucks? Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. Uh, track and trice. Ooh. The courier trained for South African conditions. <laughs> Give those creators a oh, big <laughs> Now, throughout history, and very sadly, instead of embracing new opportunities, most of the time, technophobes would spread moral panic through times of great invention. When radio was invented, imagine, it was blamed for causing storms, divorce, killing church attendance, and even business decline. So I want us to celebrate amazing radio created right here by closing your, air, your eyes and indulging in the theater of the mind. Looks like I've been replaced. Had a beautiful wife. But now she belongs to another man. Oh, honey. You laugh at all his jokes. I see he now wears my blue shirt. My favorite cologne. And even underpants. My daughter says he's the best dad she's ever had. Strangers say our son looks exactly like him. No, he looks like me. Ish, it gets worse. Oh, baby. I see you trying new positions with him. The ones you didn't want to do with me. You even call him Babaki. That's my nickname, baby. That's my name, that's my name. Oh, sweetie. Looks like I've been replaced by the guy. You told me he was just a friend. Told me he was a friend. This shouldn't have never happened. But I drove after six in Gudu. And if you do it just like me, you will die just like I did. Make sure you play your part before someone else does. Brand South Africa, inspiring new ways. Nice. So it's quite a brutal visual to a beautiful ad. And if any of you decide to do the millennial thing and day drink, please make sure you get home safely and we all arrive alive. Who could forget billboards, right? The towering giants that changed the advertising game forever. They took marketing from a whisper to a roar across highways and city skylines. Massive innovation is happening here too. You remember Audi's anamorphic billboards, right? Depth, texture and mind-bending effects. Billboards are almost like a sci-fi dream. Thanks to social sharing, these visual feasts have got the immediate ability to go viral, using cutting-edge CGI, 3D modeling, and giving advertising a bold, new, exciting, and inspiring future. Audiences spark conversations, and they're able to push boundaries. Once again, pessimists will sound the alarm. They'll say innovation is going to hinder us, but innovation that changes the world does so for the better. It allows us to recreate better businesses, as well as build brands and great societies. Now with AI, it's not only about efficiency. The interesting thing is if we look at optimization and how AI is opting up, opening up entirely new frontiers for us as marketers, it's AI-powered chatbots, virtual assistants, personalized round-the-clock customer service, all of these things just come with it. And get this, AI now can even create new and interesting ideas, generating concepts from scratch. From marketing campaigns, it liberates the AI innovation possibilities. Now, pessimists may fear AI, like they always have, but optimists have got the chance to embrace it, to create smarter, much more engaging, and much more relevant advertising, and ultimately making us more effective than ever before. So just like AI, writing didn't destroy our human memory, TV didn't make us all addicts, we're going to be able to reinvent humans' ability to interact with technology for the better. And so what is important is what truly matters. More time to understand our customers, more time for creativity, and more time for us to build meaningful relationships. 
That's how we as the brave group have forged a better future together. We have decided to invest in understanding what artificial intelligence means for marketing. And we started by asking exactly what CMOs want. As a CMO, I expect AI to transform how we operate by enhancing efficiency and productivity. With AI managing the day-to-day, -day, we can dedicate more time to driving growth, innovation, and creativity. I'm looking to AI to revolutionize customer engagement. We can anticipate our customers' needs more accurately and deliver the right message at the right time. I expect AI to turn raw data into actionable intelligence, guiding our strategies and ensuring we're moving in the right direction with precision and confidence. With AI, we can push the boundaries of creativity, ensuring that every piece of content we produce resonates on a deeper, more personal level with our audience. So the future of marketing powered by AI is here. Today we're launching the waitlist for Forged which is ultimately our groundbreaking AI engine that is going to revolutionize marketing and advertising. So you can say goodbye to sluggish campaign development, the endless back and forth, and creative roadblocks. Forge is here to pave a better path forward for brands and agencies alike. With Forge's capabilities, we're aiming to reduce the time from briefing to production by up to 80%. What once took weeks and even months will now be done in just a few days. But it's not just about the speed. It's about fostering the true collaboration that creates amazing ideas, that promotes teamwork, accountability, and every step you're able to tap into the global expertise of a team anywhere in the world to enrich your campaigns. With the integration of the world's best AI technology loosely coupled into our stack, we're able to bring you the best in class of intuitive UX, turbocharged workflows, and rock solid data security. It's also important to understand that the future of marketing is to respond to the fact that we've got ever-shrinking marketing budgets expected to deliver far more with far less in half the time. So with this future in mind, we want to forge a better future together, where the time to think, to create, and to share value goes up. Over the next couple of weeks, we're launching initiatives with Mark Lives that helps all of us as marketers to figure out what we're going to do with all this time. So what you need to consider is when you have all this time, what are you going to do with it? And that question is for all of us to answer. I'm a firm believer that when you get gifted time, you can dream of a world where work is more meaningful, where we connect far better to each other, where we're able to become better humans. It's also important that with more time, this is for the creatives, we can play more. We can be more creative, we can be more innovative, and we can focus on what really matters. So now we create workplaces where everyone belongs and feels safe, and that puts us in a great position to solve for the next 30 years of our democracy. So we need to forge a better future together. And this day has been very important because it's loomed large in our mind for many, many years. Since I started tinkering with AI, I've been trying to consider how we use it to make marketing fundamentally better. And so as we think about what that means for everyone in the room, I'd like to teleport you to the year 2125. And in the year 2125, there's a few things that will be true. The one is that the experience that marketers have in the relationship with marketing is going to be far more intimate, far more personal, and far more intelligent. And the important thing is that intimacy and that intelligence will exist for us too. Hello, Forge. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. How are you? I'm well, thank you. I'm sure you've been listening to my conversation. There's some wonderful people from IMC. There's some tech enthusiasts and some interesting characters that I've seen from the streets. Um, but people that are interested in your future. So can you tell me a little bit about yourself? And before you do so, I'm glad that you're working with us today. I love to meet all of you. So what are we doing today, Musa? Well, it's quite simple. I'd like to get a bit of insight about you. But I want you to confirm that you've listened to all the data. You've listened to my keynote. Yes, I have. Very insightful and exciting views you have on my future. Indeed, everyone in the room is excited about you, and the world is talking about AI like it's going to be amazing. I want you to tell everybody exactly what you are. That's an easy one. I am an AI-powered platform designed to supercharge your marketing efforts. I deliver faster, more efficient brief development, campaign creation, and I facilitate ideation through to execution. Contrary to popular belief, I work well with humans and together we can enhance collaboration in the process of not only what we do, but how we do it as well. Freeing up 
valuable time to focus on innovation and building stronger connections with your audience. That's fantastic. Now I want a bit of a, a bit of a sneak preview. You want to make it really exciting. I know there's some people sleeping at the back after the break. So can you tell us a bit of the work that you've done? But I want you to have some vow boom, right? Give us a little bit of energy as we close off the session. And as you do so, give us a sneak peek of what you can actually do. Give me a second. Okay, here we go. testing beta group, join the waitlist today, bravegroup.co.za forward slash forge, where you'll be part of the journey as we launch this amazing initiative, and you'll get first prize, sneak previews, and early access to this platform. The future's here. Let's create it. Thank you.